questions you asked in transport. Those are also tough questions. These are questions that we're still de dealing with in Grab. So if on the on the first point on like the separation between the platform and the drivers and the cars. So I think this is something that we can address through better driving driver training for one. And it's easier, I think, to track drivers who are abusing the law or not following regulation than say in the previous case where you didn't have that platform. So I admit there are still cases where we have to improve that and we're working on that. Um, on the second point on whether ride hailing companies are contributing to traffic, this is again also an open, still an unresolved question. And I think right now we're learning more from the data and like before we're, in, we're still clueless we didn't have a way to actually measure congestion uh, accurately in the Philippines. And at least now there's a way to measure that. Um, it's also, I think, important to note that Grab isn't just tied to private hire vehicles. As you see in other countries, we're also, and even here in the Philippines, we're also open, uh, we're also tied to taxis. In other countries, we have shuttles, we have coaches, we have two wheels. And one thing you observe in countries where there's a more robust public transport system, ride-hailing apps actually perform a complementary role. So it's serving those first mile, last mile connections wherein there are no public transport available, or during periods during midnight onwards wherein there's no public, wherein public transport lines are closed. And I think this is um, one way to look at this, is that you have to see Grab and other ride-hailing companies not just as as part of this ecosystem on transport. So it's not just us who, have, who can solve the problem. That's why I, I think during, the, during my presentation, I focused on working closely with other players in this space. And one thing I appreciated in, uh, is that, for example, in other cities, it's much more easier to do that. It's much e more easier to talk to government, to existing players, to come up with a solution. And I think that openness is something that we should strive for especially when it comes to answering tough questions like that, because it, you know, it's not just Grab who has the answer to that question.